Alright, uh, welcome to the blog. It's KQ8RP. Just giving you a little uh, little video here on a pair of verticals uh, that we put in for 40 meters. Hopefully the wind noise is not too bad. But as you see, uh, I've got two verticals here. There's, uh, there's one. The most recent one that I put up. This is uh, some aluminum that I purchased from Cycle-24. And uh, halfway of a part, you'll see my very first vertical that I, that I started with. I actually had it up as high as this 75-meter uh, vertical at one time, but it uh, mainly was a 43-foot vertical that I homebrewed, put together, ran it on 60 meters forever and I just uh, lowered it here uh, for 40. Uh, it is not guide at all but the new one the new one I do have guide so uh, I didn't have a, uh, a mount to put the new one on I just made it out of a aluminum angle and a piece of PVC. So I'll take you around and, and show you uh, the vertical. This was just uh, Put together this week, or this past weekend, a week ago. I've had it up, up for a little over a week, and uh, I've got 38, 38 radials underneath it. Um, basically, I just got the aluminum angle, got a ground rod in there, about four feet in the ground, and got a, a uh, electric bus. Uh, uh, grounding uh, strap for uh, for an electrical box that I'm used, but I just uh, put the radials down uh, over the past two weekends. Got another uh, 500 foot down today. Put uh, let's see a little over about about 800 foot I think down last weekend. So uh, they're just pinned to the ground. If you look real close here, uh, let's see. I can just see some pins. There's some pins right here. They're just pinned down to the ground. I think I got a pin uh, in my hand here. What the what the pin looks like? Just a uh, piece of aluminum, about uh, six inches long, bent into a U that I use to pin these down. And uh, you buy a roll of aluminum. They're actually uh, sealant tile. Uh, hangers and I buy it in a roll, a hundred foot roll and I cut my own uh, pins down uh, to use and uh, they work uh, they work very very well very very well but as you can see I've got green radials I've got uh, black radials um, I've got 38 of them out and uh, this is the other vertical it's on a DX engineering plate. It's actually got 67 verticals to it and they're 40, 43 foot long. Both verticals have been uh, tuned to 7200. Uh, let's go over here to uh, Kentucky Drive into the antenna shed. <laughs> That's what we're calling it today. Uh, and I'll uh, show you in there if I got enough light it's my biggest issue in here I do have enough light okay um, this is the phase box that I put together and uh, inside the phase box there's a there's a little 12 volt relay um, it's got uh, four coaxes going in there one uh, goes out to a 75 ohm line um, uh, quarter wave on 40 to uh, 50 ohm coax that leads to my original antenna and um, it's got a, a phase line there I am going to replace all that coax that's curled up there with the same kind I just didn't quite have enough but I wanted to put this together and do a test there's my big uh, sugar the watchdog 
watching over the antenna farm here. Actually, today is Sugar's birthday. She's 12 years old, and uh, she was born August 22, 1998. So, happy birthday to Sugar. Um, go back here. I've got a switch box, switch box next to the shed. And as you see, I've got a T connector. Um, T connector that comes in there. Um, so my, my feed line runs out here from uh, if I switch to my pair of verticals it goes to the T. One side goes inside, a, a quarter wave runs uh, inside to the phase box and then outside the phase box it goes to my main antenna, my original antenna. And then the other one that's right out here to the left, um, this one right here, um, goes out Hard to, hard to follow. It goes out in the path to my newest vertical that's, uh, that's there. So um, the one that I just put in. So that is the phase verticals uh, uh, working very, very well on 40. I'm very pleased. Uh, still got some work to do on putting the exact same kind of coax on them that uh, on both ends, but uh, you got 70, it goes to the, to the switch box, and then 75 ohm, a quarter wave out, and then uh, from the 75 ohm, I've got, uh, got it joined right here. So this is 75 ohm RG6, this is my 50 ohm here, and I've got, uh, got that all taped up. So that extends out to the newest, uh, the newest antenna, which is, uh, like I say, I got the aluminum from cycle 24. Very pleased with that. Um, I bought, gosh, 60 feet of aluminum to go 60. Well, you can't go 60 feet with it, but you got to put it one inside the next, uh, basically. But I got enough to go uh, probably 50 feet uh, if I wanted to. And I went ahead and bought that much because shipping on it was cheaper that way. And it was $63. And it was uh, let's see, sixty-three dollars. I think it was uh, sixteen dollars shipping. It came to seventy-eight, right at seventy-nine dollars. So, for a homebrew vertical, you can make you a forty-three-foot vertical. You could put you together a a, a homebrew uh, uh, mount. This one, I take the uh, take the bottom bolt out or the top bolt out, and I can lay it down by hand. Um, so it works out very, very well. And uh, I do have to guy this one because of the mount, but uh, I don't guy my other one. Uh, but anyway, that's it. I use uh, pair of verticals for 40. I've also got the inverted L uh, still up that uh, connects up to, uh, to that tree up there. As you can see, well above the shed, it goes up 55 feet, and it's a 165-foot inverted L. And um, I've got a uh, MFJ998 uh, tuner that's inside the, the shed here. And I'll show you it one, uh, one time. Since we were in there, I didn't talk about it, but um, very, hard to, very hard to see. But that's the uh, power supply and the MFJ998 tuner. Um, it comes in up near the top of the shed goes through ice lightning protection right there into a uh, into a uh, uh, knife switch and uh, and connects directly into the MFJ 998 tuner so uh, that works very very well on all bands um, if I just take you outside here and let you see how it connects in the shed. That's it going through the side of the shed. And it goes up to the top of my neighbor's tree there. And that's a total of 165 feet. So I switch both these antennas in. One goes uh, switch to the tuner, the MFJ998, goes to the inverted L, which I remote uh, tune. And the other one goes to my uh, 40 meter uh, verticals. Anyway, thanks for dropping by the website. Hope you enjoy the video, and we'll hope to see you on the band, 73s.